I hope you enjoyed those few days of spring because the summer heat has arrived while our white hot real estate market is showing signs of cooling to red hot. Hello and welcome to the May issue of the Monthly Market Update. And right after the stats, I look forward to sharing housing news that looks in the rearview mirror and also through the windshield ahead. And wrap it up with some updates on our juggernaut Southern Nevada economy. But first, we welcome the 3,887 new listings in April, up just under 4% from last month, yet the existing float of for sale homes, while 35% ahead of March, remains significantly less than what we've been closing in a typical month. Opened escrows did experience an 11% setback from March, while closed sales were off only 8% at 3,004 units. And at 475,000, the median sales price increased another 3.3% in April alone. And the average days on the market dropped 18% from 22 to 18 days. These somewhat mixed message statistics, combined with international unrest and our country's deliberate effort to reduce inflation by raising interest rates, cause me to confidently declare that anyone considering selling over the next 24 to 36 months should do so now, while the buyer pool remains strong and inventory levels remain low. And now for the rearview mirror. The New York Times recently reported on the extraordinary wealth created by the pandemic housing market and stated that rarely have so many Americans gained so much equity in so little time and that over the past two years, Americans who own their homes have gained more than six trillion in housing wealth. And Market Watch, the respected financial and business news journal, recently identified the markets where inventory declined the most over the last few years and Las Vegas was third on the list. I was actually a contributor in this report and they interviewed me for over an hour to get that. And Penske Truck Rental recently released their top 10 moving destinations and it's no surprise that Las Vegas was number two, having earned the number one spot in 2020. And as we look ahead, Vegas Inc. Magazine interviewed multiple representatives in the building industry who all shared concerns that home builders unable to keep up with demand in Southern Nevada. Addressing that demand, Touchstone Living just announced plans to build up to 1,600 units on the side of the 25-year-old Royal Lynx Golf Club in Sunrise Manor. Construction has already begun on townhomes priced in the $200,000 to $300,000 range. And the juggernaut wrap-up? For the 13th straight month, the Gaming Control Board reported another billion plus in revenue. And at $1.35 billion, it is the second highest month ever. Last month, we reported that Formula One Racing was returning to Las Vegas in November 2023, and Formula One's parent company just purchased 39 acres east of the Las Vegas Strip for $240 million. The area will be used as the pit paddock, among other hospitality and race support venues. Sounds like a serious commitment to me. Also committing is the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, who agreed to spend $19.5 million over three years to sponsor Formula One open wheel races in the resort corridor. And finally, the LVCVA also recommitted to the pandemic-delayed renovation of the Las Vegas Convention Center in a three-year project with an investment of almost $600 million. I'm pretty sure they believe the convention industry is back, baby. Thank you as always for your interest and attention. And if you'd like further information on the topics we shared, contact the Coldwell Banker sales professional responsible for you receiving this video. Have a safe and enjoyable Memorial Day, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.